All right, next up is UI, and this is a 2.0. Just to remind everybody, 1.0, new company with a new product. 2.0, existing company with a new product. Two different competitions here at launch uh, to be graded separately and to be awarded prizes separately. UI was here last year launching their program. Welcome back. Thanks, Jason. So, like Jason said, we were back, and it feels good to be back on stage. We just announced the company the first time one year ago, and if you don't recall, UI is an online user testing service with webcam eye tracking. We deliver videos of real people trying to use your website, and we record the screen, the webcam, microphone, we do some really great stuff with webcam, eye tracking would be one of them. And with this product, we got a lot of great feedback, and we decided we wanted to take it a step farther. We wanted to do more than what we're doing now. We wanted to really change the way people do UX research. So we'd like to announce today that we are releasing webcam emotion tracking. So you will be with a webcam video, be able to identify if someone's having a really positive or really negative emotional response to what they're seeing on the screen. And let's just get going with our demo here. We recorded Jason's face a few weeks ago, and showed him this funny video. Imagine the red dot is where he's looking on the screen at that moment. No matter how <laughs> it talked about, it had to be the only And if you see below, there's a readout of his emotional situation. So happy We're tracking positive, there. negative, and mood. It's really good. At the end, he's getting the joke. He's got a big smile on his face. He even got a little snicker earlier in the video when he recognized Jennifer Aniston. But if we can actually go and turn off the positive and negative and just get the mood, which is the aggregate of uh, several different emotions, and... Jason during a demo of some of the companies? That would have been interesting. Yeah. It would have been really interesting. See yeah. his negative emotions come out. That'd be really cool. <laughs> 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 I'm looking at the center of the screen. That's just the set, happens to be the center but of the screen. Right here at the end, Jason really gets a nice spike. Right here at the end, where uh, he really understood the punchline. You can see he has a great grin on his face. He's got a great you know, focus of his vision. But what's really powerful for this product <laughs> is our web delivery. And you can test websites with it, or videos, whatever you want to deliver on the web. And this is a tester taking a test of Amazon. And there's the brief calibration for the eye tracking here at the beginning. And then this tester is going to hit Amazon. And they're actually hitting the new Amazon look, which not, isn't fully released yet. And you can actually see he's getting kind of a, a frustrated, negative understanding, because this isn't the site he's used to seeing. But he finally recognizes it here as he zones in on the Kindle. He sees the Kindle. He recognizes where he's at. He's having a good response. We're reading the face. We're reading the muscle movements. And we're understanding how that person feels. So that's webcam emotion tracking, and we really think it's going to change the way people understand user experience for any media that's delivered digitally. So a few, thing, th excuse me, a few things we like to do for you guys today is for the next week only, you can get a UI Pro account for half off. So go to UI.com and check it out. And you can also request early access to the beta of our emotion recognition. And beyond that, if you guys would like to have some free user testers for either your Pro or free UI account, just let us know at UI Test, our Twitter handle, and we'll be happy to send you some over. So that's UI. That's what we're up to. We're changing the way we understand UX. So thank you very much. Well done. Awesome. I, Dave, were you on the panel where they launched last yeah, year? Yeah, yeah. So, I so, was like, it, so give us your feedback on their uh, progress over the year. You know? No, I mean, it's, it's very cool. I mean, obviously, I think it's like you, we sort of want to try it out with someone who's maybe not as responsive as you are, right? Um, <laughs> and uh, and and see how it works, you know, with with things where it's a little less binary. But I, I think if you can really, you know, I'll I'll, I'll just take for granted that it works. Um, I think um, because eye tracking by itself is interesting. It helps with some design stuff, but it doesn't give you that kind of yeah. feedback of like, well, they're looking at this because they like it or are they looking at it because they're confused or because they hate it and there's like usertesting.com where you can get someone to give you sort of like they're running commentary of what they're doing but that's a little bit um, a little bit more contrived from a pathing perspective so this allows kind of that but still get the the users to sort of do what they want to do but get their feedback mm -hmm. um, I guess how much of a 
and it's a little hard to measure this, but how, how much of people's behavior changes just because they're being, being watched. watched? Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Yeah, right. And so, Dave, you make a really great point, and a lot of our customers so far have been UX researchers yeah. who have their lab, and the right. testers feel like they're really being watched. But one of our great customers, Microsoft, has really commented heavily on how much they love using our testers because they're at home in bed with their cat on their own laptop with just a webcam on and they don't feel like they're being watched. They give really great candid feedback. It's really sincere and really valuable to Microsoft. So they've been requesting a large number of testers to augment their in-lab yeah. testing. Does it, does it capture the cat's emotions at all? Or? <laughs> I think we're working on that feature. It's a secret. Cat BNB would like that. It's going to be hot on Reddit. Um, what, so I actually think the most interesting thing would be Laughter. Laughter is, you know, smiling and laughter and joy is something that advertisers and brands and almost anyone would want to, you know, inspire in people. And so being able to actually really focus on that and, and saying, and this is just advice <laughs> from a just founder to founder around, you know, what to focus on. I, I think if you created a product that was goes to brands and says, we will capture the joy that you create yeah. and we will show you exactly the moment that you create joy in, in humans. So that's like, that, not cats, but to be, humans. To be clear to you, that, that is the product we showed. It's, it's going to be available very soon. Yeah. You can upload your own videos, point them to a web video. Yeah. You know, that's, that was a Heineken commercial. So perfect match for the, the scenario you're talking right. about. And we can aggregate it over lots of different people at once. So we can understand Everyone likes Jennifer Aniston. Right. Have you guys thought about maybe just a different um, customer set and actually make it some of the, some of the same companies but advertise, advertising, where this, you create panels and um, you know every day I've agreed to have the camera live 24/7 and you're measuring me along with thousands of other people and, and as big as you could get it. Yeah. And I think you could just get a lot more money. Um, from that group, and, and my sense is that you know, you know you would know this better than us, but but my sense is that um, it's a little less. Um, I don't think there's a dominant player there, and I think in in the area you're in, there's just a lot of companies in there eating away, um, and, I, and I've just my hunch would be that's a much bigger market. And we've been really really aware of that opportunity, and what we've been doing over the last year is building the baseline to offer that product and a variety of other good verticals. Yeah. Because in some sense, we need to be able to record the experience and do the analysis on it, and then we can repackage it in lots of different ways. And Shervin's approach is one, your approach is one, and they're really great big markets to go after. And for us specifically, we're so much different because we're bring these hot webcam technologies that no one else has yeah. developed. Yeah. We're I have a company that I can introduce you to that you should talk to about some of that. Sweet. I had a question about mobile. <laughs> I mean, you know, the whole world's moving there, right? So, like, how does this work in a mobile context? What are you working on? Well, let's just put it this way. Uh, I think we'd be very stupid if we weren't uh, going after the mobile market. Um, so, uh, w without saying a lot, uh, it's something that we're very interested in. Yeah. We're very passionate about. Um, and, uh, if we do a fall event, we would be there. We you would, might be there with we, another yeah. product. <laughs> okay, I think that says it all. That's a great sign of you launched your product last year, and this year you have stuff you won't talk about. It's great. It's great. <laughs> it's well done. It's like you Thank graduated. You so exactly. All right, let's Thanks hear it for you. I well done. Really Welcome good. back. Nice job, guys. Thank you. We love having the alumni come back and wow us with more stuff. And it's uh, great to see alumni. Hey, speaking of alumni, Adeo is here from the Founders Institute, last year's grand jury member. Thanks for coming.